Progression 30 is known as Get Your Changes in Tune. This is based on the Miles Davis classic, Tune Up. Let's check it out. So let me show you what's happening here. This is essentially a series of two five ones. The song form itself is 32 bars, but we have a series of two five ones that modulate down in whole steps. So we start first here on E minor seven, which is the two chord, which then goes to A seven, which is the five chord of D major seven, our one chord. The two and the five are each one measure a piece. The one chord is two measures. So it's a four bar progression. That same four bar progression modulates down a whole step. So we go from the D major to D minor seven for one measure, to G seven for one measure, to C major seven for two measures. Two, five, one in the key of C major. Pivot off of that C to make C minor seven, which is our two chord, which then goes to the five chord, F seven, and then we go to B flat major seven. Our one chord then goes to the four, E flat major seven. So that whole progression is still in the key of B flat, but we add one more chord to it. Now we go from that E flat major to an E minor seven chord, which then goes up a half step to F nine, which then resolves to B flat major. So we're coming off the E minor seven up to F nine, this is similar to a thing John Coltrane would do, B flat major seven, then that goes down to A seven to turn us around to come back to E minor seven again. So it's just like the beginning of this form, A seven, each of those are one measure a piece to D major seven. That's our one chord, two, five, one in the key of D major. Then we go back to D minor seven, G seven, C major seven, just like in the beginning, two, five, one in the key of C major. Pivot off of that, C minor seven to F seven, to B flat major seven, two, five, one to four, E flat major seven in the key of B flat. Then our second ending brings us back to E minor seven to A seven to D major. So we're back to home. We're back to the key that we started with. So this tune, besides being a great one to learn to make part of your jazz repertoire, is also a great tune to practice playing two, five, one progressions, whether it's playing the chords to them or improvising on them. So really try to make this part of your repertoire. Spend some time working on these chord changes and the voicings that I've played, and then make this a part of your playing and start having some fun with it.